what our goal was today was to look for fish on the beach um, in the bait schools. This time of year they, they start to get on uh, the thread fin schools, the big, the big size thread fins and the small thread fins as well, um, and also glass minnows. And all we did was just cruise the beach. I had a couple zones where I knew that they'd been showing the last few days and um, I fished them yesterday with a charter. This is probably one of the best baits to use this time of year, threadfin herring. They're very plentiful. Um, there's a lot of this bait around, a lot of big white baits, a lot of thread fins. You can catch pinfish very easily. And this, this time of year, you can catch tarpon on a lot of different kinds of bait fish. Peak season tarpon season, end of May, all the way through June, first couple weeks of July, um, I fish crabs only. But when they start feeding on the bait better like they are just starting to, this is really the third day that I found them on bait schools. Um, this good and um, this when you really want to start going back to the cast net catching bait just like this these are this is the size you want to look for though these bigger threads they might be eating small bait but you can't cast them they won't eat a, a small bait on a hook you got to have a bigger bait in front of them uh, to get the bite because they're in there feeding on millions of those small baits you got to um, throw something different but still what they want so this was the uh, the hook we used today very simple setup with the live bait this is a, a size six circle hook inline circle hook you can use an offset as well I found that the the hookup ratio is a little bit better with the inline circle and you want to definitely find a hook that has a wide gap just like that I'd recommend the size 6 you can go anywhere between a, a 5 and a 7 um, but with these thread fins I found that the 6 works the best and uh, the same with the crab the leader any fluorocarbon leader is gonna work um, this is the this is the leader I used here it's uh, 60 so I'll use anywhere from 50 to 50 to 60 is the most common I'll use. I will go a little lighter sometimes. 60 is the heaviest I go with though. You hook a fish in the proper spot in the mouth with one of these circle hooks and uh, 60 is really all you need. If he's not wearing through the leader and the hook's in the right spot, you can catch him on 60 and 50 very effectively. I found that if you go real heavy, like 80 to 100, you don't get as many bites. So I like to use 60 to, uh, to 50 size fluorocarbon leader. The rod setup, you want to make sure you have the proper tackle. Um, this rod is a Shimano Terramar, and uh, this is the extra, extra heavy. This is the heaviest Terramar they make um, in this model. And I found that this is a great tarpon rod for fishing off the beach. It's still decently easy to cast with. If you, if you definitely need some practice, it's not like throwing your snook rod. And uh, Make some good casts with this. I have it rigged with 60 pound braid on this rod. I'll go anywhere from 40 to 60 on the braid. You definitely want to use proper tackle to where you're not out there hooking, you know, fish way over 100 pounds and it's on, you know, 20 pound braid that you use for snook fishing. You want to make sure you have the proper tackle before you go tarpon fishing. This is um, the Super Slick by Power Pro. I found that you can cast this a mile. Love this braid. The reel that I like to use is anywhere from a size 6,000 to an 8,000. You want to have a big spool. This reel right here is a new prototype reel from Florida Fishing Products. And um, they sent me a few of these to test down on tarpon before they produce them. Very impressed with the reel so far. Um, great drag system, holds a lot of line. I think I got almost 300 yards of 60 pound braid on this, on this spool, which is great because um, you can make long casts with it with that bigger spool. Very smooth. Um, another feature I like on this reel is a very large handle. A bigger handle is very easy when you're fighting a large fish. Um, it, your hand doesn't slip off the, off the reel at any time. Um, if you get a bite and you, you try to grab the handle really quick, you can always find it. So buy a reel with a big handle. Um, this reel is not going to be out for probably about another year. We're going to test them a, a little bit longer. My clients have caught a lot of tarpon on this reel so far. Very impressed with it, very smooth, and uh, very nice looking. They sent these to me and I said, man, you got the look down for sure. The, the look is great. Um, they're very opened up. You can wash them out. And uh, overall, great reel. They also make some inshore reels. If you want to check them out, Florida Fishing Products, great company, local company. And um, so that's the reel, the rod, the line. Like I said, it's a very simple setup when you're beach fishing with live bait. Um, you want to make sure you have the proper bait. You really want to make sure you know what the fish are doing, what they're feeding on. That really depends on what kind of bait to use. So overall, great day. I think we went uh, three for six today, which was enough for me. That was just me catching all those fish. So I'm pretty worn out. Uh, that was a great day on the water. Um, the weather worked out. The fish cooperated. 
And when you're shooting a tarpon show, sometimes that's the hardest to do, is having all those variables come together and, and catch a fish like a tarpon. Um, very pleased with today. I hope you enjoy the show.